Welcome to Scripting 3, where you can learn all about JavaScript in tutorials that are three minutes or less. Today we're going to be looking at um, how to post data to Firebase from a Google Sheet. Here we have open my Google Sheet, and um, I also have the script uh, open as well. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then I have two uh, web pages which are linked in the description. Uh, and essentially outlining a lot more detail about how to do this. Um, but I'm sharing these with you because of what we need. I also have my Firebase uh, open here and I've created already an example. So I could go in there and I can go to developer and then database. And this will, uh, under get started, this will open up my uh, Firebase ready to, Firebase um, database ready to go. So what you need is to get the library from this website and in here in app script under libraries post in the code for the library click on add choose the latest version click on save then back into this website and under secure your database copy this and then in the Firebase, go to Project Settings. And uh, maybe not Project Settings. Rules, there we go. Sorry, this one here, Rules. And paste in the rules. And then click Publish. And then go back to uh, the settings, go to service accounts, database secrets, don't care too much about the warning, and then uh, pick up the secret, go back to your database here and put the secret in here. Then uh, you need your Firebase URL. So go back to database. This is the URL here. You can copy that. Put that in there. And then you're ready to go. So uh, getting the data is in another video. That's also linked in the description. Um, we're going to be getting this data from the, from the spreadsheet. And we're going to be posting it to the Firebase uh, as a string. And you can see here by data json.stringify uh, get range value. So that's changing the data into a string. Um, I've got a log there to, to see it. And then we're going to post it to, to Firebase. So now when I uh, hit get data, it will get the data and then post to Firebase. There's some extra permissions on here. Make sure that we've got all of those. And then take a look at Firebase, and there you can see the data has arrived. 